Microsoft Viva Connections puts the intranet right inside Microsoft Teams, so employees can stay connected to an organization in the flow of their daily work. It offers them quick and easy access to the tools they need, personalized content, and intranet resources. Integrating your solution with Viva Connections helps to extend the solution's reach and drives more traffic to your apps and experiences. Your customers' employees can quickly access them where they're already doing their work. Extending Viva Connections can be easy because it's an open and extensible platform based on the SharePoint framework. Also, Microsoft Viva, Microsoft Teams, and SharePoint all use standard web stack tooling. So, any web developer can use the SharePoint framework to build great experiences for Viva Connections. Modern SharePoint pages in SharePoint Online provide the Viva Connections desktop experience. And since these are just SharePoint pages, editors can extend them with HTML widgets called web parts that display content from data sources. In fact, the Viva Connections newsfeed and dashboard you put on a home site are two great examples of web parts. The custom web parts that you build to engage end users work the same way. Editors place them in the content area of SharePoint pages and configure them to suit their needs. Afterward, the web part displays the configured content when users view it on the page. Using application customizers is another way to extend the Viva Connections desktop experience. These show information in one of the predefined content placeholders on a SharePoint page by injecting HTML and JavaScript into known locations, like the header or footer. These offer unlimited opportunities to build custom headers and footers that can even include complex menu options. Whereas editors can place web parts on a page, only administrators can enable application customizers. By the way, application customizers don't always have to display information. They're also useful for just injecting code, like analytics tracking, into SharePoint pages. I save the best for last, adaptive card extensions. In some ways, they're like web parts, but they use adaptive cards, which use JSON to render a user interface and code that connects them to your apps, data, or insights. Adaptive card extensions have a big advantage over web parts, though. They work on the Viva Connections desktop and mobile experiences via the dashboard. Adaptive card extensions can be simple, just displaying some quick information, or they can support interaction, like buttons that open a user interface or links to another app within Microsoft Teams. A unique feature of adaptive card extensions is quick views, which provide fast access to key features of the app behind the card. These allow users to perform the most common scenarios directly from the adaptive card extension, rather than moving to a separate app with a more complex UI. Editors can place adaptive card extensions on the dashboard and then add the dashboard web part to the home site. With the mobile experience, the Viva Connections app in Microsoft Teams automatically detects and loads the dashboard that you configure on the home site. The SharePoint framework handles displaying data in the cards and reacting to user actions. It can use the Microsoft Graph APIs or Azure-hosted external APIs to handle the data shown and to perform actions based on interactions. Extend the reach of your solutions by integrating them with Viva Connections. See aka.ms slash viva slash connections slash extensibility to learn more. Microsoft Viva.